Miss Gish, one of your biographers has said that in silent films you daily courted death. Was it really as bad as all that? <laughs> well, I don't think daily, but very often. Can you tell us about uh, some of the more dangerous moments? Way down the east. The ice flow. The wind. Uh, in a wagon with a runaway horse and jumping to a man on horseback at full speed. Things like that. But no. then you see, in those days, we weren't important. Only the movie, only the picture was important. No Didn't stand matter in. about us. No stand-ins? No, no, oh, never. You used to talk with some regret of the coming of the talkies. Are you reconciled to them now? Oh, not regret about music. I thought music and film uh, went together. But when you uh, use words, uh, it's not theater, it's not film. And every country it goes to, it has to be dubbed. And I read in your paper this morning or last night that uh, Molly Plowright didn't like the dubbing in War and Peace. Well, it wouldn't be the actor's fault. It's just uh, not a pure art form. What do you think of film acting today? I think some of it's very fine. Techniques are very different. No, 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 you can't. It's the human race and the way they behave. And you still must not be caught acting. You must be whatever you are. Somebody has once said of you that uh, your genius lay in making the definite charmingly indefinite. I wonder if this is how nobody is altogether certain how old you are. Well, I'm not 70 yet, but I will be. And uh, I don't want to depress people by uh, looking uh, decrepit and <laughs> weak, I, I, because I'm not. And certainly how old I am wouldn't make me live longer or shorter, and it doesn't really matter. I just would like to give the impression that time is your friend, gravity is your enemy. <laughs> I think the man was right who described you as the perennial poem that is Lillian Gish. Thank you for talking to us. Very kind, and I don't deserve it. <laughs> Thank you.